Hey guys, welcome to Must Be Online to Do the Video. So now we start to install the printer. First, when you got the package, when you, before you open the package, you must check, be sure the package, outside package is good without damage. If you got any damage of the wooden box, so please contact the soft focus team or contact the shipping company to, to be sure you have good package without broken. Then after you remove the release, the take out the printer from the package, you will got first the printer and the powder processing system. Also you must check every spare part be sure it's not broken. After you check everything's okay, then we, we need to release the printer and the powder supply system. So first we must uh, put the two machine on a good environment. First, the environment must be very really clean without any dust. And then also, the temperature must keep within 18 to, from 18 to 26 degrees. Cannot too hot and not too cold. Because if you have uh, the high temperature without AC, air conditioner, then the ink will be easy to dry. And also, the printing quality is not good. And also, have enough space for printing. Then the ground must be water level, cannot be leaking or not bent for the printer. And also you need to put the machine on a good, strong enough desk, cannot shaking, to be sure, put the machine on a strong desk. And also fix the machine with good position. Then we can start to install the printer. First, we need to connect the waste air at the hosting tuber. We find out the full year panel from the package. It is 10, meter, 10 meters long. You can take out, you can pull, pull for make it longer. Then we connect the tuber to the waste uh, host plug here. like this to connect wire without loosen. Then the waste air will it host to out the door. Then connect to connect another end to the window or to a hole to release all the waste air. You can pull it out to make it longer. Because the hot melt, hot melt powder, when it mixed with the the baking system, then it will be have waste air coming out. Then the host, the waste air goes through from the exhaust plug, then go to the toner, then then exhaust out of the room to keep the room clean and without pollution. So this the for first connect the. It costs the tuber. Then we need to open the cover and we need to release the carriage belt. So when we open the front acrylic cover, there we see here's a carriage and the carriage is locked before delivery to prevent the carriage not, not shaking, not loosen before delivery to damage the printer. And there's a uh, buckles, there's a buckles to lock the belt. So we find out the scissors and we carefully to cut down the buckles. 
be careful, do not cut down the belt, but we just cut down the, the buckles. After we release the, cut down the buckles, then we can move the, car move the carriage freely. And actually, before delivery, there's a lock here on the left side, right side of the carriage. We can take out this cover. If we cannot move, we can, we can load this lower to make the cap station down. But down enough, this lower. To load the cap station moving down. After we, move, after we move the cap station down to the bottom, then we can release the carriage to move really from left to right. So we check the carriage is moving freely from left position to right position. Can move to any position without block. Like this. And then we put back the cover. Put the carriage to the home position. So we just uh, release the carriage for the, for the second step, then we cover back. Okay, now we can start to load, install the paper release system. When we go to the paper release system, here we can see there's a mark right, and where the another side have uh, named the left, on another side, left. So first we find out the release device, and if you if your machine is put on the desk, there we have a desk board. So we put the paper release device on the back side of the printer, and then we find out the the lock screw. We have two pieces, one for left, one for right. And first, we remove, we move the first uh, screw nut to the top, and then we find out there is there is a hole on the aluminum aluminum gear. We make the screw go screw the screw goes through the the hole like this, then. We find out position to lock on the desk like this. Lock it. And we do the same way to lock on another side. We must be sure the, <coughs> the release device is water level and at the same, same vertical horizontal with the machine. Cannot be like this. Otherwise, the paper will not load with good position. We make this jacked with the machine. And then we also lock another side. First, the loop, move the screw nut to the top, then go through the aluminum gear. And then we lock it. like this. To be sure the device will not shaking and also adjust the good position. Make sure it's water labor and extract of the film. It's not shaking, so this board we install it ready. Okay, then we start to load the PET DTF film to the printer. Before we, before we load the film to the printer, we must find out the printing side, the, the printing surface for using. For the film, we can see they have two sides, one for glucy and one for mite. One with coating and another side without coating. 
So which side for print we can check, we use this, we, we scratch it. We find out if we scratch, we got the impression. For example, we, pay the, we place this side. We will got some uh, small impression. But double side, another side that we scratch it, nothing. So we take the side with coating to the, for the front, for the top side. So we load by this way. First, we put the film to the lower. And fast it. And we double check. We go by this side and we check if we scratch it. We got some uh, impression on the top of the coating. So this side is for printing. Then we push down the four pinch lower. Then we take out the film. For the first time, we can load more to load the film that we place pull out. Because we need to go through the power processing system, so we need to load, load up more film at the first time. After low, we must be sure the film is at the middle of the table. The gap between the left and the gap between the right must be the same distance, like this. Then we go to the front to load the film to the processing system. When it goes to the table at the front, we must be sure the two metal clips is on the top of the film. And also the edge of the film must be vertical and horizontal with the edge of the platform to be struck. Then we load the film to the powder processing system. We find the film, we go through from the dusting system, then go through from here, and on the bottom we can see there is a, the powder shaking system. So we must keep the film at the top of the lower, as this. Please remember, we cannot go through for it. It's wrong option. We just go to the top, as this. Then we open the front. We open the front baking system. And we go through the film to the baking system. Like this. Then we go from here and also be sure to keep the edge of the film must be struck with the roller. And we use the steep, the double tape, double set, double set tape. And then 
we first stick it and first we can load by our finger first and it's not jacked then you need to move a little bit of the machine to be sure the position is equal is jacked with the machine like this and also keep the option on so we must be sure that the side on the top is with coating when we scratch by our finger we can have some impression so this set is for printing the double set is not for printing so this is the procedure to load the film to the printer okay so when we load to the film load the film to the take up roller we double check it this set is for printing and if we scratch by our finger we can see we have some impression the coating is removed so this side is for printing and the double side if we scratch it it's nothing so this side is on the top please do not load the wrong side if you load the wrong side then the ink will not suck by the film the coating will not fix the ink so we cannot get the printing result so this is the procedure to load the film to the printer and load the film to the powder processing system.